Welcome back friends, thanks for being here. This is Steve, KM9G, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to get a vanity call, how to apply for a vanity call, how to know what vanity calls are available, and some general vanity call tools and some tips and all that other wonderful jazz. Stick around. Okay, folks, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. There are some links in the description down below on how to support the channel. And let's jump right into it. What is a vanity call? So a vanity call is any call that isn't the call that you got when you were originally assigned out of the call lottery when you got your first license. Basically, it's something that you chose because it means something to you, whatever that meaning might happen to be. We just started a club here recently, you probably saw that video. I will link it in a card somewhere around here. Uh, the club call sign that we got was KD9PKE. And that is impossible to bust a pile up with. It's nearly impossible to enunciate to someone across the radio. And it's a mouthful just getting it out. And it's very easy to get some of those letters reversed. So we didn't like it all that much. Also, it's a club and we wanted to have a nice short call sign for our club. So call signs come in a variety of flavors. KD9 PKE is what they call a two by three call. So it's two digit, two digit, two character prefix, the number for your region, and then a three character suffix. There are two by threes, there are one by threes, there are two by twos, there are two by ones, there are one by twos, and then there's also special event stations that are one by ones. So what's really popular is to have a two by one or a one by two. And this website that I'm taking a look at right now will show you all of the one by two and two by one call signs available. And for all of you documentation nuts out there, this also has some really cool information on application notes. So this page, when you click on application notes in the upper left hand corner, goes into the vanity application process and tells you exactly how the whole thing works and lots of warnings and lots of times of filing and how much it costs, it's free, spoiler alert, and some other useful goodies. The big takeaways are that it's a process that takes some time. You're probably not gonna get the call sign that you want right out of the gate unless you are a magician or some kind of wizard or some other professor of the dark arts or whatever. But that doesn't mean don't try. Go ahead and try it and work it out and it might actually happen for you. So back to what we were talking about. Um, exploratory notes, explanatory notes, not exploratory notes. Explanatory notes is another page that he's got here and this will tell you some more about the process and all about how wonderfully the government works and is helpful and loves to be there for you when you need them. And then the most important part is the query tools main page. And on this page, it will tell you by region and by currently available and pending applications and how many are expired and all that other kind of jazz. And there is a ton of information here, more information than I was able to figure out, but I was able to get my call and move on with my life. So I am a nine call. I am in the Wisconsin region and that is the nine region. So I clicked on nine and this will show the expired, canceled and available one by two and two by one call signs in the nine region. And we will scroll down to take a look at them. And this is a quick overview as to what's available and what is coming up and when it is coming up. And then as you keep scrolling down, you get to what you finally have been looking for, which is all of the available calls. And you can take a look at when they are ending and when they are available for your use. And you can try and pick one out here that you like. So if you like K9JQ or whatever, you can click on it and get some more information. And there's currently no applications and K9JQ is expired, but is not yet available. And you are restricted to being an extra class in order to grab that call. 
So any ones in yellow are not available. Any of the ones in green are available. Let's look at ND9F. ND9F is canceled and is available, and it is restricted to the amateur extra class operators. And there's some information on who the previous owner was. And some people who have applied for this and when they received it. And lots and lots and lots of information. So that's the AE7Q website. The link will be below, but below. The link will be below for that. Uh, there's another website out here, radioqth.net. And radioqth.net is a pretty cool website. If you go to radioqth.net slash vanity, it will show you the currently available call signs when you get to the landing page for quick, easy reference. These are all of the ones that are available. And if you didn't like your two by three call sign, you could apply for a different two by three call sign. Uh, one of the members of our club has a one by three call sign that is starting with K, the number nine, because he's in the nine call region, and then it winds up being his initials, which is pretty neat. So there are reasons to get one by threes. There are reasons to get any of these, and you are welcome to go after anyone that is available that is in your license class. Um, what I like about this website is I can go into the available calls section, and it has this really neat little table down here where you can say, give me all of the two by one calls that begin with the letter N and are in the, and well, it's a two by one. So it's gonna want a second letter if you wanted to do that. So if I wanted NN number N, I would pick NN and I would go through each of the call sign districts. Again, I'm in nine and let's search. And there's NN90, it's gonna be available in 263 days. Let's see what's available in the zero calling region. No call signs available. Let's start with NN. Let's see, four. NN4I is available in 570 days. I, I don't have that kind of time. But that's just a pretty uh, thick, cool thing that you can do with this website here. Another feature of this website is the CW call weight tool. Enter call signs separated by a space or a new line. So the two call signs that I am familiar with currently off the top of my head are KD99. PKE and KM9G. And let's show what the CW weight of those is. So the weight for CW for my call, KM9G, is 54, and the weight for the call sign KD9PKE is 72. And what they're talking about here is how many dits and dahs it takes to get your call sign across to the other side. So let's try something similar. We did the special event station W8Y the other day. Let's see how that one looks. That one's a 46 weight. And the object is that the shorter, the less weight you have in your call sign, the easier it is to get it across to the other side. It's kind of a bonus feature. I like it. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but if you are into CW, I would definitely hammer out that call that you're looking for a couple of times before you apply for it, because there's nothing worse than taking what sounds to your ear in English, like a wonderful call, and then sitting down to your paddle or your straight key and hammering it out and realizing that it's just horrible to hammer that key out. I can't even imagine how KD9 PKE would be to, to get out across the air. So lastly, the reason why you all came here to look at this is how to actually apply for a vanity call. So I'm going to show you how to do it for a club. So this is my club call and the address of the club call and the other information. And it is pretty easy when you're working with a club because it just shows up right here, right above my head, request vanity call sign. And you just click on it. And you answer a couple of questions. Are we exempt from the fees? There aren't any fees. Is the applicant exempt from regulatory fees? I don't even know if there are any regulatory fees associated with this, but I'm not exempt from them either way. And I have not been charged a fee when I have applied for these. Um, have I been convicted of any type of felony? Nope. So we'll continue down there. This is a club. So we're gonna go over the club station preference list. All right, continue. 
And I guess before we hit continue, let's go back. If you have the consent of a former holder or close relative of a former holder, that will give you the ability to transfer a call from a silent key that you are in connection with or from someone who is removing themselves from their license and then giving you their call sign uh, and then former club station holder. But uh, let's go through this club station preference list. This is probably going to be the biggest portion of you guys out there working on this. They give you the ability to put in 25 call signs that you would like to choose from. And for some reason, it goes down to the right, down to the right, down to the right, instead of right to left, left to right. Yeah, instead of left to right, like everything else that we always do. What I would suggest is unless you're really trying hard to fight for a very specific call sign, I would get a bunch of them that you'd like that are all green and coming available in the next couple of days that you're working on your application process. And I would submit all 25 of them all at once. We recently went through and submitted 25 calls and all 25 got taken before we could get any of them. Before that, we submitted three calls and I think it was three. And all three of those got taken before we could get them. So here we are trying again and uh, We'll just keep trying until we get one. I think that's probably the, uh, the strategy to go on. So you put in the call sign that you want, K, M, I, G, hit continue, and wait. Some days the FCC website is blinding fast, and some days it is not. Hey, we made it. This is the summary page that will show you the radio service that we're working on, which is amateur. Uh, and then these are the questions that we answered. And then here is the call sign list that we did. And then you would continue to certify. And here are all of the certification statements. I'll let you guys read those by pausing or by going through this process yourself and seeing them. And then down here you sign electronically and you hit submit application and you're done okay so this is how to get a vanity call for a personal call instead of for a club call not going to be a heck of a lot of difference but here is my call and my information and i already have a vanity call but we'll walk through the same process over here on the right hand side that's kind of buried behind my head let's move that up over here on the right hand side it says request vanity call sign just like it did in the club but i've got a couple of other things i can make changes with over here so same two questions before am i exempt from the application fee am i exempt from the regulatory fee no and then i don't have any of the club related stuff but the questions are exactly the same they just change the words of the titles a little bit so primary station preference list is what you're looking for and then again the crazy order of the boxes, fill them out. Let's try and apply for KD9PKE. All right, so after we submit our station preference list, we are dropping down to a licensee information page. And one of the questions it asks you is, if the license name is being updated, is the update a result from the sale or transfer of control of the licenses to another party? And for which proper commission approval has not been received or proper notification not provided. So answer that question appropriately for you. And for me, that answer is no. And then you have a chance to put in the address that you want any of the details sent to. And you hit continue. You must modify your name. All right, so here we arrive at the licensee information page, and there's a couple of gotchas on this page that don't make a whole heck of a lot of sense, but here they are. Again, welcome to government. Uh, the, the first one is, if the licensee name is being updated, is the update a result from the sale or transfer of control of the license to another party and for which proper commission approval has not been received or proper notification not provided? So for me, that answer is no. And then if you hit submit, you will see the second gotcha. Click cancel to save with errors or okay to fix the errors. And for all the software that I've ever worked with or all the software I've ever written, that's backwards. There's a problem, let's click okay to go fix it 
or click cancel to give up because there's a problem. There's no other choice but to give up or to fix. There's, there's no save with errors. That Anyway, you must modify your name in order for the system to save the response to this question, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but let's hit OK to fix the errors, and we come back up here, and they want you to change your name. So let's change my name. And we hit continue. Yay! And here is the felony question. And then we hit continue, and we get back to that summary page. And here's the fees section. No application or regular degree fees are required for this. And we would hit continue to certify. And here is the legalese mumbo jumbo. And then you sign down here at the bottom and you click the submit button and away you go with your application. And one of the other things that is interesting to note about this, and they do mention it, uh, right on the Radio QTH website. Let's go back to Vanity Calls. Note, it is a common misconception that call signs are granted to the first person to apply on any given day. The truth is that everyone who applies for a call on a particular day is thrown into a hat and the winner is randomly selected. So it's not first come, first serve. It's everybody on that day that applied for that call has a random chance of getting that call on that day. So even if you are, you know, right at the right at the button at midnight, and the, the stroke of one second past midnight, you hit OK. It's not going to help you do anything. Quick note: This is how you do this today, as of the recording of this video. There are a couple of other places you can go where you can visit a website and apply through them and pay them a fee to do all of the stuff I just showed you. But you can do it for free yourself, and Different call signs are available, like I showed you on the AE7Q page, different call signs are available for different license classes. So you might not be able to get the license that you want until you upgrade, and if it takes you a while to upgrade, you might not get it because it will have missed you by. So what I did in my case was I waited until I got my extra and then I applied for my vanity call. So there you go, a couple of different tips and tricks on how you can get a vanity call, and I walked you through the application process, and I appreciate you coming and watching. Thanks for being awesome.